Mmm, yummy. It's your idea coming with the season two. It's your idea coming with that brand new one. What's up, guys? It is season two, and we are back, and we haven't missed a beat. F*** you. And <laughs> we haven't missed a beat. We've only missed- <laughs> We missed like, like 10 six tonight. Months. <laughs> and, and tonight. I already said an F word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right to it. Who was uh, that? So, me? So, did I? So, <laughs> did I? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't oh even know if he has. <laughs> nope. uh, so we got some, some cool things happening this uh, season, mm-hmm. and uh, not tonight, because I screwed up a bunch of times. It's okay. But we have a new team member. Yeah. Wes. What's going on, guys? What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy producer voice. <laughs> hey, eat spinning that, in his eat, chair. Eat that yeah. mic when you yeah, talk yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, turn that thing up. All right. Take it easy there, Joe Rogan. We're just going to get into it. Uh, yeah. what, what has everyone been up to? Brent, let us know. Fill us in, bud. Oh, my God, man. The past six months have been crazy. We're all working from home. Stupid. Drinking incredibly too much. Stupid as well. Like, so much. <laughs> I had to like have a like talk with. Myself. Oh yeah, when we were doing the zooms, you were you were just. Whew. Well, yeah, there was a lot of whiskey. Lots well, yeah, with. but our last zoom was in May, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a lot That's happens. Like to five <laughs> months of of old granddad. Oh yeah, to go through. I mean, you even brought ninety nine grapes. Well, that's because uh, I'm just a degenerate white piece of trash. So, so let's yeah. all. Uh, Everybody's where, got you get one. This? Where'd I get this? What Hindu sold you this? <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> all right, excuse me. A sick. <laughs> uh, chic. Um, <laughs> what are you a convert? I don't know, bro. Um, Those are nice people. I love uh, them. I'm sure you do. They're always um, nice. They always know what's dude, up. Dude, you can go to any liquor store. They got 99 flavors of 99s, bro. It's so good. All right, I've never had it, so let's go. Uh, uh, everyone drink everyone it so take bad. the whole thing, or just no? Yeah. You, you take the shot. Hey, hey, Bane's Bane's here too. Howdy, duty. Go ahead and take uh, this. All Cheers. right, ten four. All right, down the hatch. All right, so good. Sorry, that noise is pretty funny. That tastes like Dime Tap and bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of you. Terrible. Oh, That's God. awful. <laughs> it's actually not terrible, but it's terrible to drink it like That's that. That's a... I would sip it. See? See how everybody reacted, and I just was like, yep. You're That's, an alcoholic. That's been the last five... I'm an alcoholic. It's bad. Okay, so... The real alcoholics don't, don't stay there. Up next, uh, uh, up next. Well, the first step is uh, noticing or admitting you have a problem, right? <laughs> up next, these beers have not left this basement oh. <laughs> since our last show. I'll take, a, I'll take a crispy boy. I don't want that. Yo, that shit Ultra. burns. Hey, give me a bottle. All right. Miller Lite. Actually, this is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, dude. <laughs> Your eyes are red. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I'm drunk already. Dude, I don't drink that much anymore. Does Wes have to drink one of these? No, Wes, I'm good. It's all Bane, you guys. Bane. It's all no, you guys. No, yeah, that's Bane. So, I literally only had five. It's for the OGs. Four. I had four. All right, let's crack them. People got to watch dude, this. I don't want to drink a room temperature beer. Oh, All right, yeah. for people that aren't watching, yeah, there's we, a bunch of beers left over on Mike's table that are from last season, February. That we, yeah, Matt, before uh, no. Corona. When did you go in COVID lockdown? Oh Mike? yeah, because you went. We need to address that too. Well, I had the kid, bro. I had the kid. Uh, that's when like the news. That's when I'm watching the most news I've ever watched in my life because I'm stuck in a little room. And they are just cramming it. They're acting like the world's ending outside. And other people were probably fine. But in my head, the shit, this shit was like real. I'm like, God. It Everyone thought it was real for about this thing went out of date a week. May. I think I was nervous for like literally a week. And I was like, yeah, you know what? How do you beat pandemics? Well, you guys, you, you guys have to expose let Jesus yourself. Take the wheel and just did whatever you wanted to. <laughs> That's all summer not true. Anyway. That, well, that is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, There's Bill, Bill Burr was on precaution. Saturday Night Live. So funny. And he's like, if you want to kill your grandparents, go ahead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bill Burr. I took a sip of this. I'm not taking another one. <laughs> it that went was... out of date five months ago. It's awful. Oh, I like the way it smells. Ugh. Dude, it tastes great. I'm sure it doesn't. So anyways, uh, I have been raising a kid that, you know, just just kind of figuring out as I go. He's cool. Um, and taking flight lessons. That's pretty awesome. God, I, I, wish, did I, it to- I wish I did something. <laughs> I did it today, dude. There was like, it was... Uh, a six, uh, six to seven mile an hour crosswind the whole time. So we just landed and took off the whole time. And it was, I was sweating. 
just in a plane. Just perspiring. I was actually sweating a ton. Yeah. It's still a trainer plane. Like he can take over if he needs oh, to. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, yes. Think you're nervous? <laughs> Shut, no, he's <laughs> dude. He's amazing. He's probably got control the whole time. He's so he cool, dude. He's doing. so chill. I wish I did. Just... I did. I mean, I did start the band. That's a thing. Oh, yep, you did. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I cut you off a little bit. Well, no, no, I forgot yeah. all about that. And we, I mean, we just played our first like full show. We've been practicing for almost a year. We had good turnout and. It's cool. Been booked Sounds a few good. more times. I saw your uh, acoustic show. I like. I mean, those songs are right in my alley. Oh yeah. yeah. Even the even the like the 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 Navy guys that that uh, booked <laughs> us at the VFW. I yeah. took them aside before we started, and I was like, "Hey, thanks for having us, but you're not going to know any of these songs." And the guy looked at me and was like, "Is it rock and roll?" I went, "Yeah." He was like, "I don't give a shit." Have I mean, want. it's kind of rock. What and roll. if you said <laughs> it's not rock and roll? Because well, anything is better live. If it right? wasn't rock and roll, and I was wearing what I was wearing, I deserved to get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you like cut off jean jacket or something? Of course. Yeah. Dude, that's rock and roll used to be now, about freedom, and now it's just about giving up, giving up all your rights. <laughs> Can we get a ticker underneath Jake? <laughs> I got like a Fox News ticker under him. But at seriously, all remember rock and roll used to be awesome, and now everyone just you know gives up to whatever is popular. It used to be sex, used to be about drugs, being a rebel, rock and roll. Well. I agree. Now yeah. it's about conforming now to whatever's about, mainstream. It really is about conforming uh, to sad. a sound and uh, having them choruses. Well, and, yeah, sound, I mean, in but the, also in the, in, in the eighties, it was just like all about. I don't even think you can write half the songs that those guys written in the eighties anymore. <laughs> you couldn't. Act well, actually, them. never mind. Couldn't wear what they wear for sure. That fucking song that just. Then we'll get into it. We'll get into that. We'll get into that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. We're already on some serious tangents. You, you can't write that song, but other people can write yeah, that song. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. a little rusty. It's all good, Jake. <laughs> What did I do? Yeah, what um, do? <laughs> regular summer, regular summer for me. Yeah. Nothing's different. Oh, um, dude, I mean, everyone lives like right next to each other and his family, so they're like, "Boop, let's drink over here." Oop, yeah. poker over here. Poker, Oop, dark. Tennis. Yeah, the rich the tennis. Rich tennis. <laughs> the rich no side. one has a tennis court, by the way. I meant no, volleyball. No, no. Yeah, volleyball. You know, we didn't get any volleyball in this year, but we got a lot of darts. Yeah, we in. did. Darts, huh? Memorial Day. Uh, okay, that's we sent it for like hours. That's true. That's true. You know, we did some boating. I know Brent loves that, but uh, <laughs> nothing great. I, honestly, I'm a fan. We of didn't have any. Boat. We had no, no. Uh, we had no big plans this year that got motor ruined. <laughs> <laughs> went to Maine. Went to Myrtle Beach a couple times. You know, just testing my luck with hot beds. <laughs> hot beds? Hot beds. Oh, oh, oh. COVID hot beds. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I went to Nashville. Speaking of hot beds, oh. that was like an epicenter for a minute, right yeah. when I was there. Yeah, and you cost another two weeks on the show. Oh, my ass. I, that was July. They've been pushing the show back, guys. Oh, yeah. I went to Miami fault. in I June. Huh? And I went to Miami in June. It, it was That was the hottest place on the planet at the, at the moment. Oh, yeah, because the beaches and shit and like spring they break. They were shut down. That. Yeah. Huh. Nobody died. It was good. Look, man. I, I, didn't go, I didn't go anywhere for months. The city was like shut down. I stayed in an Airbnb like right where Johnny Cash like recorded all of his hits for $100 a night in a full apartment. It was rad. I know um, my brother-in-law, Chad, and, and uh, my sister-in-law are there, Danielle. Right now. Right now? Yep. Hell yeah. It's a fun city. I've been twice. Never been. I want to go. I recommend going to a hockey game. Really good Just outside, outside of driving. It's just outside of driving rain. It 11 hours me, too far. Well, it only took me 11 hours because I took my dog. And I stopped every three to give him water and take a shit and piss and all that. Well, I want, you want to You could probably cut it in like nine and a half, for real. But uh, I like to take still, my time, dude. I love far. a road trip. Except yeah. the road trip home from Myrtle Beach last week when I was hungover <laughs> and crying in the backseat. <laughs> why, why were you crying in the backseat? <laughs> oh, because I... I, like an idiot, we were there for what three three nights, three nights, four nights. <laughs> we get into this three nights. And, oh no, no no no, we're not getting into that. But we're gonna get into. <laughs> I, I feel like we gotta get into it. We, I gotta I gotta talk to some people first. Uh, yeah. Into, but um, uh, just just in case you're wondering, people that know from uh, season one, fire Adam. <clears throat> uh, that's all. That's oh, all. You want to talk about that? Oh no, no, I'm not gonna get to that asshole. He's not even worth the breath of my. <laughs> oh, <talk>. Already <laughs> episode one, <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> oh, oh, that's. Both of you guys were arguing with each other. That's what true. I saw. You know, yeah. I was fucked up on day two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> can, I, can I paint a picture real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Wait, one picture. So, so these, so we all know that that Adam and Brent don't get along too much, right? So they all, they all go down there on this yeah, big- Yeah, but they big, get along. Oh, I know, I know. We can get along. He, he should get along. There's I don't a, understand it. There's a point hold where on, he becomes on. unbearable. Let me finish. Everybody has that. that point. Let me finish, because it's getting good. <laughs> They go down I here. I do like the guy until. <laughs> All right, my bad, Mike. I'm they, sorry. Go they ahead. they go down there and they're supposed to play this game of golf and they got to split up into teams. Guess who gets paired together? Yeah, and they and these <laughs> lying assholes were like it was completely random. I would names never out of a hat. ever. You who know wasn't me. in the room when you pull I, names I, out of a hat? 
This guy. Oh, that's because you were in bed. Brent you were in bed. Playing golf with your fucking arch enemy, Brent. The men were up drinking beers. You were napping, napping early. Dude, it was ten thirty at night. We had, I, I, all right. It's a golf Y'all trip, did that Myrtle shit Beach. on purpose. No, they don't. I wish we did. I wish we I did. I went to my room, took two Ambien, and went to sleep like a good boy. <laughs> Bro, if I was drunk, I'm definitely putting them two together. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking ass. Anyways, they're on the golf course. I would never do that. They're on the golf course. They're playing. <laughs> and you guys like are ahead of them, right? <laughs> You're mixing up two days. Oh, so the second the second one was even worse. Day one, <laughs> day one, they had to play together, and they're actually on a team. Yeah. Okay. They had to teammates. actually cooperate mm-hmm. and ride together. Mm-hmm. That did not end well. No. But it didn't end. Can you picture the them the two on a golf cart together? It didn't end awful. About halfway through it, now, now, mind you, we were playing thirty-six holes of golf a day. Me and Adam got paired up for the second eighteen, so he was already drunk. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then he was continuing to drink a beer a hole. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, so six <laughs> holes into the eighteen, I just looked at him and said, "Will you shut the fuck up?" Yeah. <laughs> And and he and we were bickering like an old married couple. It was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take half the blame yeah. because he's having fun. I'm trying to have fun, but we just don't gel. We just don't gel. I'm sure, like seriously, I tried to make it work, and I'm sure he tried to make it work. I'm not going to drag him totally through the mud, except on day two. That was bullshit. But Wes, have you ever met uh, Adam? Yes, I've met Adam. Yes, and I've what, met Adam. <laughs> he's never given you a hard time, has he? Actually, no, but he talks a lot of shit about Brent. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? It's cool, man. Like, we just, it's just one of those I things. I love it, dude. It's just like two people. It's, all right, let's get off that subject. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. It's, I don't wish him any ill will. I don't yeah. hate him. We just don't gel. We just I, don't gel. I just want everyone to picture, I mean, they saw a picture of him, I guess, on one of our episodes. You can go back and look. I just want them to picture this bald guy walking away from the tee. With his club in his hand, he goes, you want to see the devil? <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. All right. Look, <laughs> That's at the end of day two, they had not seen each other for now, like, you know, 24 hours or whatever. <laughs> yeah. We had finished our 18. Sun was setting. Beautiful. And we were Myrtle Beach. Fun. We drove back to kind of heckle the other guys as they were teeing off on 18. And then that's when all hell, that's when all hell broke. Are you loose. hot, bro? <laughs> it's so hot over here. Wes is sweating. Hey, you know what? We'll get into that story some yeah, other time, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it is a good one. Bane, yeah. it's a good one. Bane, what have you been up to? <laughs> Working all through COVID. Oh, nice. You yeah. actually have. Like, never you, got to never uh, teleweld or anything like that. Welding, <laughs> welding over the phone. Teleweld. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The tradesmen come up pretty cool, wasn't it? Make fun yeah, of the that sounds people. pretty pretty oh, great. I was laughing so hard, I'm sweating. Yeah, uh, I miss this shit. And I then really and then Wes, we get to talk to you now too all the time. This is great. I feel like I'm like the resident old man of the group. Yes, because I have my kids. And yep, yep. Hold on. Literally, life didn't He's change got at all. A chi- a child and so does no, that. it's Dude, different. My bro. child's 15. <laughs> He's adult kids. Oh yeah, 15, <laughs> 13, many, and eight. I bet you got more shoes than her. I probably do. <laughs> I yeah, probably do. She probably asked for shoes. He's like, ah, oh, no, we can't. No, no, we no. can't make it work now. <laughs> can't afford it. She keeps seeing different. <laughs> What's the stop by the office? No, no. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna move forward. If that's okay with everyone. And, I mean, uh, you know, it was, we have we haven't been on the mics in a nah, while. Nah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Trying to think of how to move on to these questions. I know. Yeah. And we don't have a segue. There's no segue there's whatsoever. No, there's no segue. It's basically Speaking what, of kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's this uh, gynecologist, right? <clears throat> and he disseminates women. Right. Artificially. <laughs> Artificially. Yeah. Or not. And my man was sneaking in Trojan horses. <laughs> Dude. Like when he I put read his own kids in there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so when I read the article, I was like, you read that article? Oh, yeah. yeah. I read even further. I, I'm I went, surprised you read it. So, <laughs> you know what his name was? Uh, Jan Vunderschmidt or something, no, something like that. No, no, well, I'll say it real white. Uh, Jan Wildshut. Well, no, it's, well, it's, it's Jan. <laughs> Dutch. They, I, Dutch know, I, Jan. Know, I know, I know. But I don't like the like, fact. Okay. So, if you read the article, here. like this guy was like, yes, he used his own semen to artificially inseminate 17 women. That's what they were there for. Right. And I he's a smart no, no. guy. Many, no. many more women. He fathered 17 children, though. Some of them, you know, don't. Right. If you're doing artificial insemination, it's not going to always work. But if at, you're sure. at that point. I don't know how that was the headline because if you continued reading the article, it was like, oh, it's not the first time in Dutch history this happened. <laughs> Another guy named Jan did it to 49 women. Yans, Isn't there a movie bro. about that? Fucking Jan's. Dude. Uh, they did it on Family like Guy. The Rock like Peter or somebody. Went and jacked off a lot at the fucking thing. No, there was some. Would, there was some movie where a bunch of kids show up and they're like, they, their daddy's The Rock, right? I never saw it. I don't know. 
Never seen it yet. Whatever. Yeah. Leave it out. But you right. always bring up That's, some movie. That hey, I know. <laughs> Am I the only one fucking sweating in the studio? Oh, I it's hot. It's okay though. Dying right. It's okay. Ow. Keeps us rolling. So, so. Oh yeah, go ahead. Well, I did look it up. Yeah. And men can make up to a thousand dollars donating semen. Whoa. Yeah, but they've got to be like so healthy. A not month. while the chick is asleep. A thousand dollars a month donate. Would you do it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So Yon wants that, my Yon, kids, dude. Yon was just doing it for the love of the game. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Yon was just setting up franchises. <laughs> yeah, dude. But hold up, like that's what they were there for. And he was tall. He was tall. I looked up picture. And he was smart as shit. Well, he is. A, he was a guy now, man. It's not. Let so, me ask I, you this. Whatever. Yeah. The women. Were they supposed to get inseminated with their mates? Dude, the article was literally like semen. Six, six, no, six, no, they six, didn't. One? No, it's unknown. Okay, yeah. well, that's what I'm saying. So well, how could he? Hey, not? they got what they paid for. How could he not? <laughs> yeah. Is it more expensive for a single woman to go get inseminated than a married woman? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I know not it's asking a, you I, like directly. I know it's expensive well, no, if you're married. I definitely know you know it's expensive. Yeah, it's but, expensive. Like, yeah, but I, I no, I, I don't. Think you know it what? Is. Fuck it's me for thinking this. I don't, it's not weird. I'm not going to say it's weird, but like, just like, so if it was single women, like 17 single women just marched in there. was like, yeah, I want a kid today. Like, uh, Dude, that happens. Really? Yeah. Good for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. I remember when I was uh, younger, there was this, this girl, we, we, I don't know what her relationship with is with us, but my mom, my mom kind of looked after her a lot. And then uh, she went to the military and she came back and then she decided she was going to have a baby without, you know, a man. And she went. Paid well, yeah, the money. I mean, they don't got the random. I don't know if it's random. I don't know if you get a man. That could be debated. I know but- that, but it can't be debated. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know if you get to pick who it comes from or not, you know, as far as like, Is there I like want- a catalog. Maybe. Why wouldn't there be? Like tall, dark, right? and handsome. Should right? be. Should yeah, be. should be. be awesome. Hell yeah. If you're going to go that route, you might want to pick your mate. Actually, people like me would not want a catalog. <laughs> don't put my picture in there. <laughs> but then, you know, the guys that are. <laughs> no, the guys either, that are. Five, uh, what? <laughs> Five six. Seven. He weighs how much? Oh, look at his tattoos. He's five seven. When it's frizzy. What medications he's on? Oh no. But the guys that are doing that for money are probably not who you want to be. You know, your daddy anyway. No. Yeah, but I don't think it's just like Joe Schmo can like moonwalk off the street and jack off into a cup, bro. I do think that is what it is. I, They're paying. Wanna, I for totally that. disagree. You want a tall, West? muscular dude? So what does it take to be a sperm donor? First of all, I get seventy dollars for each visit. Is, do they put a limit on, da- on like I'm daily? Doing it, you, I'm just <laughs> doing it for free. How is it? Ta- <laughs> is well, it taxed? Do they like? Do they? There is a questionnaire. Hit them up on the way to and from work. You do have to release family, medical, and sexual history. Okay. Okay. There's a full physical exam. Time out. What is sexual history? Yeah. I, I, I am. I would imagine like how many partners. They doing lie detectors well, yeah. on that, or you just write down whatever. Uh, it really just says, are those who have ever had sex with. <laughs> Have they used intravenous drugs? That's what they want to know. Okay. Oh, well, that's a no. Let's make some bank. Always I mean, deny. There's a, there's a, there's Always a, deny. Dude, it's funny. <laughs> Jacob told me that when I when I was getting my background check done. Oh, Say and- no to everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, Brett. Throwing them out there. Did I? Yeah. Did I? You sure that was me? Get yeah. off the boat. Are you real sure? <laughs> Your name's on it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but time out. Intravenous drugs. If you've ever been in the hospital, you get drugs intravenously. Like, is, does anesthesia count? It's probably not the ones they're talking it's about. It's drug, and it's intravenous. Bro. But they're talking about heroin. So that stuff's fish. scary, though, man. What's that? Uh, the, the, um, the, the one that puts you to sleep. Oh, anesthesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I did that one time, and I was like Isn't terrified. it crazy? Because like, they're making you sign stuff like, hey, you might die. I'm like, <laughs> dude, it's what nuts. do you mean? <laughs> they, 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 they drag you into a room. It's really cold, and they tell you to. Count it's backwards. really cold, is right. Yo, they gave and me two shots. The first one didn't like take all the way, and I was trying to get out of the chair and like move. <laughs> well, and I, I remember able to look this up for me. <laughs> There's a certain percentage of people that wake up That's and right. feel uh, everything. I was I literally going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> I was yeah. almost there. There's another part to it. But, it's all right. But their body's paral- in like paralysis, so they can't communicate. <laughs> he said I was strong, but they're awake. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, dude, I must have been like, <laughs> what just happened? Give it another just, shot. What we were trying to say. My bad, dude. Yeah. I walked right. Hey, we're starting. Mike was waking up mid everybody. anesthesia, yeah, and yeah, it was like yeah. arm wrestling. Something. Him, him and the girls were like trying to hold me down. <laughs> Whoa! Said, the first thing I heard when I woke up was him go, "You're strong, dude," because <laughs> he like was trying to hold me down to get another. I'm like, wait, so you're trying to hit the same thing and give me more? 
And you know, um, and I'm so scared of what I might have said. Oh man, if you, you know said those like videos on Facebook. Oh, when, yeah. when you wake up, when the yeah. people wake up, they're pretty yeah. funny. You were probably like talking trash. I, I know. When you woke up. I don't know what I said. I'm used to it because I felt like everyone was looking at me a little different than they were <laughs> when I first Yo, you showed said up. Some wild stuff, dog. <laughs> he went, "You're strong." <laughs> <laughs> His eyes all bloody. <laughs> strong to say that to everybody a, in here. The oh. chick knocked out over. <laughs> Anyways, the what, girl what's he unconscious over in the corner. So, so there's a certain percentage of people where the anesthesia will keep their body in paralysis, oh. but they fucking wake up and feel everything, oh. and they can't communicate that they feel everything. That's awful. Yeah, that's during the surgery. And yeah, any, yeah, anything. Yeah, I That's think, uh, I think that happened to Missy one time. No, she told me about it. Yeah. So the only thing I can find is that there have been two <laughs> yeah. percent, two percent, two percent. I mean, Sorry. That, hey, that's one out of fifty, bro. That's could you imagine odds. feeling the pain of someone like? Cutting you open and you can't say anything about it. Dude, well, I'm about to bring up another them, like, carving into my back three years ago. Oh my god! Now nope. no, about to bring up another random movie. All right then. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know why. He's in it. <laughs> I, I yeah, can't. hold on, look it up. <laughs> There's a movie. We're searching through this video. <laughs> Comanche. Yeah, sorry. All like, right. Wait for him to say. We <laughs> couldn't spell Comanche to save his it life. Was, <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was some Indian. I at wish a bar I could remember. <laughs> The guy's family gets killed, and then he goes on this rampage where he gets actually put in prison on purpose, and then he breaks out every night and goes and kills everybody, kills the judge. You know, you know what I'm talking about? No, yes, dope. yes. Oh. It's dope, but he gives him some drug where he's paralyzed, but he can feel everything. What? Hold on. I do know that. It's, um, I can't remember the name. I don't Someone's know listening like, you idiot. I know. Right. I know. This. But he kills, Jamie Foxx is in it. I know that. So he's it's a, a lawyer. big time movie. Big time movie. Yeah. Yeah. He, is he, it Russell Crowe? No, but it's a guy that looks just like him and acts just uh, like Gerard him. Butler? <laughs> Gerard Butler. That's, that's it. <laughs> See? Law-abiding citizen. Law-abiding citizen. Yes. Uh, You've seen yeah. that? I've seen that. He gets put in prison when I, on when purpose. When I tell you it's been up. over a decade, it's been over a decade. I saw that's a good came, movie. Saw Fantastic movie. Really? Thank, thank you. Right. That's a good movie. I believe you. Okay. Anyways, he gives somebody drugs that uh, the main guy that killed his family or whatever, raped his whatever. He, um, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Worst day of her life, but he, yeah, he right. cuts so, him open while he's looking with a mirror, looking down on himself, and he can feel everything. Oh, no, 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 no. And I will say this I had a block when I broke my collarbone and had a rod and all these screws put in. I didn't know that. Block, and all this other stuff. I didn't know that. Yeah, happened. I ripped my dirt break pretty bad. Rap? Anyway, yeah, rap, rap. I was on the way home <laughs> from the hospital, and um, my mom was driving me, and all of a sudden, the block, they tried to put a block from my neck down. But because it's kind of sketchy when you're getting surgery. What do you mean by right? block? Anesthetic would anesthesiologist would know they block feeling from some area. Oh, down. okay, all right. So they're like trying to kill the nerves it, for a while. It's hard to do a bunch of stuff near your neck. You know, it's a little dangerous. Well, they, so, they say breaking your collarbone is a very dangerous thing. It's not <laughs> <good>. I shattered. <laughs> you're breaking anything is shattered. No, 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 well, no, no, I shattered no, no. mine and I had shards no, no, no. all. Who's Google, they? Google Who's they, Brent? I had shards everywhere. Have a high fucking like infection mortality rate because they're Seriously. tough to they're tough to operate on the next. The infection anyway, dies. This is probably boring. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no one's research. No one's looking. <laughs> Look on the they way home. Totally, they could totally search it. The way home from the from the hospital, it wore off, and I felt like my collarbone was wide open, and people were knocking on it with a hammer. Ugh. And it was the worst feeling ever. And that's, I think that's what you just described, what it would feel like if you woke up and you couldn't say anything. Yeah. It was, I was, I was blacking out. Ugh. I was in, I was like the I'm worst pain ever. We went right back to the hospital and I ended up being there for like two or three days because they had to catch up on pain management now. Oh God. Because once, once you lose control of the pain, you can't catch up. It takes a lot. No oh, thanks. A lot of intravenous drugs. Oh, no, no, no. I just recently uh, watched a terrible Documentary about a murder that I'll only I'll only do the one murder that really was like too much to listen to. The two boys followed these two boys to a barn, uh, and they were supposed to sell them drugs. It was just a setup. They wanted to kill him. They shoot the one kid. Uh, he drops. So basically, what? And then they shoot the other kid. He's like, it took so many bullets to put the other kid down. He just said, I kept em I emptied the clip on him. Jesus Christ! The first kid that he shot. This is a true story. Oh yeah, the first kid that he shot. He only shot one time that just dropped and before he shot the big guy. This kid's like pff, 16. They hit him in the neck. So he was paralyzed from the neck down and screaming. Uh. So he couldn't feel any pain, but he could see everything and feel everything. He's screaming. And so they were worried about Hold the on. next- Hold You literally just said he couldn't feel anything, but he could see and feel everything. Uh, well, I guess he would fear everything. I <laughs> he guess, couldn't move better word. or respond. But yeah, there we feel. go. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Much better. Yeah. So, anyways, he's looking at. Uh, he's screaming, and, and the uh, the neighbors. He's they're worried about the neighbors hearing and stuff like that. So they grab like this big 
piece of, uh, it's a backhoe. So he's screaming and screaming. He's mm. like, he was screaming and stuff. And then once he saw the backhoe kind of come and he just stopped screaming. I guess he ran over his head or something. Oh, mm. Jesus. And, was this on Netflix? And, and, and you guys know no. me. Like, Live no, no, leak. I mean, they don't show it. No, 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 no. I, I didn't see, no, no, I didn't see any of this. This was a confession. Reenactment? It was a oh. confession. Like an actual confession. This guy was- 48 hours later or something? It's something on YouTube. Uh, dude, okay, YouTube's go. got the killer channels, man. Really? Oh, Yeah. And so, anyways, he was like, he, he was going through the whole uh, thing, anyways, and it, you could hear the actual confession. But what I'm thinking about, uh, I can't. I, you know, I used to watch all that stuff. Like, I don't know, it's easy to watch. Do you say you used to? Yeah, Did you stop. I, I kind of can't. Dude, it messed with your brain. No. Did becoming a father change you? I think about Felix every time. If someone go. did that to him, because th those kids were like young. They were like 16, 17. Do you want to be more protective of him, knowing like if he's like, I want to hang out with these dudes over here, and you're like, well, they're kind of oh, sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about who they hang out with. So mm. think, that kid was hanging out with this other kid. They both go to just get some weed. That's literally all they did. They mm. followed them to the barn. Nope, you get shot instead. That just makes me think about all the times I used to go and get weed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Jesus I used to hop Christ. in cars with people. Random, right, people. random. Yeah, just go somewhere. Guys you haven't seen in like three years yeah. ago, I remember you. Uh, let me get, let me get, uh, let me get a you know, fitty bag. I left a show in, in Texas one time when we were on tour <laughs> with a guy to meet his dealer. And I did the dumbest thing. Jesus Christ. We pulled up to the guy's house. Hey, dude, this is Texas. Like, it's, in the, it's like the weird, it's like a weird spot. Do they still put people in jail for weed in Texas? Like, it's still a thing. They do it everywhere. Oh, it I was so stupid. Now you're reminding me how stupid. Dude, so the drug dealer walks up to the car. You know what I do? I open the door and I lean my seat forward for him to get in the back. <laughs> Join is, me. Like, I should be Kill me right out. here. I know. Yeah. I put him right there. Like, can you get behind me so I can see you? And also get in the back. <laughs> hey, can you get behind me can so I get... can't see you? <laughs> and just, and right, yeah. bitch, please. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. every worst thing you could do. I Jesus, did. Just disrespect the shit out of a drug dealer. And the guy, like, I don't know why I did that. But, you know, we all make mistakes. And you know I, what? But that's pretty fun. <laughs> like, living like that, you know. It's a fun story now. I, I did a bunch of like weird stuff when I was overseas, just like getting in on random scooters and just going, you know, with people wherever. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I feel like you guys now, like, we did that shit. Like, you did that shit in Texas. You're in a foreign country, scoop bopping around on a Vespa, and you two, and probably Wes, don't want their ki your kids to experience that Hell type of shit. Hell no. But it's part of growing. It's part of up. life, bro. And... I I, I guess I might have learned something from that, but I don't know. Dude, I, I, I didn't know do anything gonna be wild. I didn't do anything, anything dumb. I didn't do anything dumb. You experienced after. something. But I did experience. I mean, I was. What were you scared. supposed to do? Go go I didn't to bed at nine o'clock and and then be ready for the show. No tomorrow? no, this was at like seven or something. Exactly. Or you know you could have went to bed early no, and no, Jake could have paired you with Adam the next day to play <laughs> golf. <laughs> it's bad luck when people get killed <laughs> in barns and stuff. It's bad luck because kids are always going to be kids. They're always going to do stupid stuff and go try to find weed and wherever on the boardwalk and. Ocean City or something. You know, you're going to meet sketchy people. Mm -hmm. Some people don't get, some people get unlucky. Yeah. Get murdered in a barn. Mm -hmm.